Time now at the Spring Arrows Tournament here in Antalya to sort out the medals in the Recurve Men's Individual Tournament. Judging coaches out, athletes about ready. Let's go and find out who the contenders are for the Recurve Men's Bronze Individual All Medal. All targets number one, representing Virgin Islands, Nicola Stavol. On target number two, representing France, Karen Jacquet. And the line judge for this match will be Sarda Özdemir. Fantastic lineup here. Nicholas de Moore from the US Virgin Islands, world number six, going up against Clement Jacquet from France, the world number 38. Again, can we look at the rankings here for an idea who's going to win this one, Chris? not sure about who's going to win it, but I think we've been really, really lucky with the quality in the recurve men's competition at this event. Yeah, world number six here in Nicholas de Moore in the final. We've got the world number one, the world number eight. It's, it's not a huge event, this one, early in the season, but some real big hitters have come out to play. So de Moore beginning with a low eight. Determined looking at Jacquet. Still a little low, but uh, into the yellow part of the target. The more looking confused, but the lucky thing for him is both his arrows have landed in roughly the same spot. You can deal with that, you can cope with that. Can come back better. Ten. Nine. Well, confident start from. Clément Jacquet going 2 0 up with a 28 versus a 26 in the first set. But Christian, you saw, we saw the little adjustment from uh, Damour. He certainly got the quality to come back in this one. He's got the quality and he's got the experience. Uh, Damour, for a few years, has been that guy with all the potential. Got an invitation spot to the Tokyo 2020 Olympics coming from one of the smaller nations, US Virgin Islands. Uh, but really, he had the ability and he could have qualified, just missed out here and there. So, yeah, he's, he's good enough to come back into this one. And you saw it on those, those, those arrows in, in that set. He shot two eights, low and right. He made the adjustment, he dealt with it, and he finished strong. At the end of that set, it wasn't really about the score. It was about setting up the second and the rest of this match. Yes, that is indeed true, because Damour is going to start set number two. Gets his marker down early. Let's see whether that third arrow in the first set has prepared him well for the comeback. There was a big difference between that shot and the first shot. On the first, Damore looks like he's squeezing too much, and that's that's the symptom you get when you're going low and right. Another ten. Jack A though looked really calm, really relaxed, and has work to do here. Ten. So twenty-nine for Damore. A bit of pressure on this shot now. Let's see how Jacquet handles it. Nine. 
So 29 matches, Demore's score. So they both get a set point here. I suppose one of the questions then, Chris, now is that, you know, Jacques clearly started the better, uh, 28 and no, a 29. Uh, Demore's put some pressure on in that second set, leveled up on scores in the set and got himself onto the scoreboard. Now there's the pressure for Clement Jacquet to uh, hold the lead that he's got. Yeah, archery is a game of, of internal battles for sure. Uh, you're, you're battling with yourself, but there's the pressure that your opponent can put on you to, 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 help, to help the demons inside uh, beat, beat, the, beat yourself. So it's, it's, it's this weird dynamic, right? It's not a sport in which you can touch the other archer. It's not a sport in which you can poke them, punch them, do whatever. It's a sport where your actions can really affect the mental game of the person you know, standing across from you on the line. Yeah, and uh, from uh, Demore's point of view, he shoots first again. Got himself onto the scoreboard. It's 3-1 now. And shooting first, he's got the opportunity to put pressure on his opponent with some big scores. So the first real big test for Jacquet. How can he respond from shooting an eight with his first arrow? Damore looking to apply more pressure. Hits the center of the target. Nine. So a chance for Damore to put this out of reach. Nine is enough. Nine. So, those demons you were talking about, Chris, are they there on the French side of the shooting line? Oh, they're always there. They're always there, Karen. <laughs> it's just how much you can keep them in their box. And, and we often talk in Rico Bartri about finishing strong and it's not often not the archer that starts fastest that wins the match but it's the one that finishes the match strongest jack has had a wobble in this third set but there's plenty of time to come back there's plenty of time to resettle and that's what they're discussing behind the line now but the more has been in this situation more times he's got more experience and he's got the momentum now they're both smiling with their coaches, so trying to reset. And if you think about it, 3-3, three, three. can we draw a line under it? It's easy for us to say and for you guys at home to think, but a uh, little bit more difficult when you're standing on that shooting line. And, uh, you know, this is arguably the toughest match in sport, a playoff for third place, because the winner goes onto the podium, the loser gets nothing. Time for set number four in the recurve men's individual bronze medal match. Damore versus Jacquet, Ivory Coast versus, sorry, US Virgin Islands versus France. Damore to shoot first. Moore's technique really reminds me of a, a man that you know quite well, Chef Van den Berg, Karim. It's quite highly strung. There's quite a lot of tension in it. But when he gets it right, the release is just so soft and beautiful to watch. Everything comes together and, and, and really perform well. Nine. So second 29 for Demore. Ooh, 
now that's drifted way out to the right and into the seven for a 27 when there was a chance for uh, Jacque to steal back a two-point lead he's drifted out to the right and it means De Moore goes 5-3 up anything in particular you saw with that final arrow from Clement Jacque a bit quicker with the body language it just looked like something was off didn't it it didn't look like a bad shot maybe he got caught by the wind maybe he just wasn't in his aim maybe it just caught him a little bit by surprise and he hadn't quite finished that that process of settling into it you know it's it's those kind of arrows that remind us the minute differences between perfection and you know not, not disaster but something in the outlying realms of the red and the, and the blue it's 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 such a fine fine line that these guys balance on these archers balance on and and yeah it, it makes you appreciate the good shots you all the more yeah and and, and for those of you that uh, watch a lot of our live archery that you'll know but worth saying that we're talking about millimeters of difference on the shooting line making well, centimeters of difference uh, 70 meters down at the target so Damore with the 5-3 lead will go into the fifth and final regulation set and Jacque has to win this one outright to force a shoot off Nine. Good pressure arrow from Clement Jacquet. That second arrow, 10. He can put this out of reach with another one. Oh, that is a close one. I wonder if that is going to get marked up to a nine. Eight. And that's called an eight in venue. So, uh, a 26 provisionally confirmed for Damore. Is that no, going to be weird enough? One, Karen. Very, very weird one. Uh, first, first arrow from Damore to kind of fly out of the, of the sequence he's been putting down and, and an opportunity to really grab something back. Jack A, the last arrows of each of his sets in the past three have been, have been wild. Um, he needs to get that under control. But luckily, he's only got one arrow to shoot to decide this. <laughs> now, shoot off has been called in the venue. Now, I had uh, Jacques down for 19 after two arrows. And if he shot an eight, which provisionally could have got marked up to a nine, I've got that down as a 27 minimum. Yeah, and the ball had 998, which is a 26. And thus... Yeah, 5-5, five, five, the points going to Jacque for uh, a levelling up, a topsy-turvy match, that is for sure. But it does now mean, as Chris said, we go to a single arrow shoot-off here. Uh, one arrow from each archer, closest to the centre to win. Obviously, if you get a higher score, you take the bronze medal. Pressure moments here. One arrow from each archer to decide the bronze medal here. Seemed quick. Chance for Jacque. Well, that looks like it's in the center of the target, and it has indeed been called a 10. Oh, what a match that was. Jacque taking out an early lead. 
Damore fighting back, and as you said earlier on, looked like he had the momentum with him. Took it a 5-3 lead before Jacque comes back at him in the fifth and final regulation set to draw things level, and then wins the shoot-off. And there is confirmation that Clement Jacque, through a shoot-off, has taken the bronze medal in the recurve men's individual. What a match that was, Chris.